Originals documentary, streaming now. Welcome, welcome to CBS Mornings on this Wednesday, Hump Day. I'm Gail King. I'm Tony DeCopel. And I'm Nick Burleson. Yes, he is. We're all here. Let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. Lawmakers in the House voted to hold former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows in contempt of Congress. The resolution is adopted. Breaking overnight, another member of Trump's inner circle is punished as part of the Capitol riot investigation. The United States reporting more than 800,000 deaths from COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic. Dozens remain missing after Friday's deadly tornadoes. We hear from the victims. I wish I could have saved my son. Plus, how one company sells vape products that appeal to kids by using an apparent loophole. The FDA has just been slow and tentative, and now they're getting punked by two 27-year-olds. Wild weather swept across Southern California. This season's most significant storm brought record rain and damage. O.J. Simpson is a completely free man now after being granted early parole discharge in the state of Nevada. Curry went to fly. The Knicks hosting the Warriors. Steph Curry was playing and looking to make history. It's good! Stephen Curry, the all-time three-point king of the NBA! The family in South Africa noticed their cat staring intently into their newly decorated Christmas tree, and then they saw why. There was a highly venomous snake in their Christmas tree. Thank goodness the cat alerted the family, and I just want to say this, screw you! Elf on the Shelf for refusing to do or say anything. This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Isn't what the Elf on the Shelf is supposed to do to alert you to what's going on? I don't know. House? Nate, is that why you have a fake Christmas tree at home? Exactly. No Thank snakes. In venomous that one. snakes. Thank mm. goodness for the family cat. Elf, do your job. That's yeah. right. That's All right, right. we're going to do our job. we got a lot coming up on this show today, mm -hmm. including part two of my uh, investigation, really, into how vaping products can still end up in the hands of kids, avoiding what is now years of attempted government regulation. You're going to hear from the executives at Puff Bar, known for marketing sweet flavors that kids like, and we'll show you the loophole that they and any other vaping company could use to stay on the market. Plus, James Brown has an unlikely story of redemption in involving Kyle Larson the NASCAR driver caught on tape using a racial slur. He spoke to a couple that knew Larson before the incident. You wanted to know who was the real Kyle Larson. Have you found out who the real Kyle Larson is? I have. I have. And he is who I thought he was in the very beginning. It's a story about second chances. You'll also hear from Larson himself. Mm, can't wait to hear that conversation. But we're going to begin this morning with an extraordinary development in the January 6th investigation. Former President Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, is being held in contempt of Congress.